right, here we are at 7712 Weeping Willow. Very nice neighborhood. But this house does need a lot of work. Okay, so let's go inside first, and then I'll walk around the outside. So, it is a nice entrance. The only thing, first off, you can see tape on there. Second of all, this is not glass. It's just plexi plexiglass. So that's not very safe. Okay. We walk in. Yeah, there's been damage to the doors, but those would be replaced anyway. So as we walk in, we do have two stairs up. Nice tall ceilings. There's a little bit of Damage up in the corner there. But it doesn't look like water damage, so that would be an easy fix. Okay, so as we come up here, living room, dining, uh, kitchen is behind that wall. We have an office to the left, and then to the right is a wet bar and the master bedroom with this uh, little outdoor area. So we'll go in here first. Okay, to the left, you have your closets and then the master bedroom. That noise you hear is the alarm system because there are low batteries in some of the uh, systems. All right, so you have this little sitting area. There is a door from the living or the uh, master bedroom that goes out there. has a fan in there to let out some of the heat, but I'm not exactly sure if they just had things hanging on here, but it looks like there is some water issues with this area. And then this concerns me. You've got definitely some water damage there. This goes out to a little greenhouse. Okay, so the greenhouse definitely has had some water issues. That door is all chewed up. Okay, but as long as there's no termites, Wood can be replaced. Okay. Oh, they have that lock, so I don't know what's in there. Hello? Are you good, sir? I am. Hey, happy day. Hey, same to you. I'm just doing a uh, video for a client. Perfect. I'll send you away. Okay, yeah, I'll be real quick. Uh, if, you guys feel free to walk around. So. Not here yet, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you won't be in my way. All right, into the master bath. So all of this you would want to redo, but the plumbing is there for your uh, little spa tub. There are obviously some little issues here, but these are all the original cabinets. You would want to replace these anyway. You've got a crack in there. So all this would come out. You have your commode there. And then a little shower over here. Kind of nice and bright. Main closets. Kind of small. That's one, and that's just a little linen closet. 
master bedroom. Nice and long little sitting area over here. You do have the uh, popcorn ceiling. And I guess you have a little intercom system that's set up throughout the house. Yeah, there's a bit of work <laughs> that needs to be done. I'm like, you're not supposed to point that out. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a few spots you'll see. Is that did I leave the door open? Is that why it's doing that? No, it's uh, low batteries on some of the sensors. Oh, it's a beautiful space, though. Yeah, definitely has potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the guest baths. You can see over here, probably some water damage, maybe from the skylight which is common for older skylights. Then we have a guest bedroom here. A closet. And then we have the full bath there. Probably want to redo all of that. And unfortunately, all of these windows are good windows, uh, the seals have been broken. So, not really energy efficient anymore. This is not a tile floor, it's just the laminate. Into the garage. So it's technically a three car garage. What they ended up doing is drywalling in the third garage to make it into a little air conditioned space. So that can always be opened up. Okay, so again we have the wall that splits the dining room goes into the kitchen and then the living room area. So the living room area has been redone. You can see the ceiling is not popcorn. So they've redone this area. And this area actually looks nice. You probably wouldn't need to do much to it. It's got granite countertops, but you'd want to redo all the cabinets. Probably want to redo the flooring in here. A little breakfast nook area. And then we come over here. Got a nice large laundry. So you've got a sink. And over here, you could easily build a little shelf or a table for folding. Again, in here, on all throughout, popcorn ceiling. So I don't know if there was damage to the other roof, and that's why they finished it. So this is another guest bedroom, just off the pool area. This is the closet area, which they built. I'm not sure what they were doing here, but they built something, just didn't put any doors on it. And I have this little built-in. And a pink shower. Okay, let's go outside. So as we look outside, it's a nice big entertaining space. 
probably have to redo a lot of this stuff. You can see the elements have uh, gotten to that. Okay, from the kitchen, I do have a little bar area. Those doors are the master bedroom. These are the doors to the dining room, and then the living room area. It's nice and open, getting a lot of sun. The tiles here don't look bad. Maybe just a little beaten by the sun, but I don't see any major cracking. itself looks okay. Although you definitely want to have the pool company come out and verify all that. So you can have fences here. Now the fences that are around the perimeter of the house can be no taller than four feet. But they've got, I mean, all of this is pretty thick. So all that has just gotten overgrown. I don't know how far back the property line is. like they had uh, landscape lighting set up at some point. Don't know that I would trust that right now. Have that looked at. So this area over here is the master bedroom. That's the little greenhouse area. some things to point out that would need to be addressed. There's windows. So they had the outside painted. Uh, sure they had all the soffits painted too. So hard to tell if there were any leaks. But I'll get up in the attic and check it. 